Hello everybody. Thank you for uh, joining me on this Tuesday. <laughs> We're going to be part of the world's biggest golf lesson. Now the world's biggest golf lesson, that is going to be starting at 2pm, so in 7 minutes time. But I just thought I'd come on, just explain a little bit about it first of all, and just to make sure that everyone is aware that this is going to be going on. So at two o'clock, I'm going to be joined by Olivia Cook. She is a young golf professional based over here in the UK down in Kent. And today's lesson is basically about putting. So I think there's hundreds and well no there's hundreds and hundreds of coaches all across the world that are going to be taking part within this live video not this live video their own live video and i think we're definitely going to break the record of the number of golfers taught but we're also trying to raise money for charity as well so after this live video after this lesson make sure that you head over to the website worldsbiggestgolflesson.com and donate to those who need it the most are frontline workers uh, who are saving many many lives let me know um where you're coming in from as well let me know where you're watching and we'll just have a little bit of chat for the six minutes remaining before we get olivia on and before we start the lesson Good night from Australia. Good night. Uh, just got my new Scott yesterday's 15th birthday. Happy birthday. What a good birthday that is. I got my Scotty Cameron oh, through for uh, quarantine. That was my uh, quarantine gift. And that's what today is all about. All about that flat stick. Wakefield, Australia as well. Kent, ah, you may know Olivia who's going to be coming on. The Forest of Dean, a forest that I've never been to before. Sweden, York, oh, lovely. Although it is responsible, York, for uh, turning me from a vegetarian into a meat eater. So I don't know if that's a, um, a good thing or a bad thing, actually. Just had an amazing night out there and then broke on this pizza that was just like, oh, God, amazing. Switzerland. Whoa, God, how could Switzerland be right now? Um, Peterborough. Don't really have much to say about Peterborough. I don't think I've ever been before. <laughs> Chicago. More Kent. Ah, loads of people from Kent. Aussie, Aussie. What time is it in Australia now? Because how is it working? Like, I don't know, midnight, two days away, somewhere in Australia right now. Um, Preston, hey. Hey, Josh, how you doing, mate? You're good. My hometown, Preston. Manchester is my adopted hometown. I'm actually from Preston originally. Can't shake those chains. Uh, <laughs> make sure, by the way, guys, if you have the availability, get your putter out as well and actually prop your phone up. So... This is going to be me giving Olivia a lesson, but also this is going to be hopefully interesting to everyone. So if you do have your putter and you do have the capability, just prop your phone up somewhere and you can have a put along, put along with us. Barcelona, 11 o'clock down under. Ah, man. How was the um, restrictions going in Australia? Are you back out playing yet? I think you may be. Um, Want to play Augusta with me? Harry, yeah. I mean, that'd be, that'd be super. That would be super, Harry. <laughs> what are you found any reviews of the Wilson Staff Infinity Putter? No, I've got um, some putters actually on the way to do a little bit of a review of. But in all honesty, we need yeah, I need to get out of the course. Yeah, I need I need a bigger area than what I currently have in my house. As lovely as this spare room is, it doesn't quite have the uh, capability of a full green. Uh, Nick Hanna, oh Nick Hanna, how the hell are we doing? How the hell are we doing? Still got that Preston top, I have, mate, I have. Um, AM Chicago, oh yeah, everyone from the US, hello. Everyone from Down Under, hello. Everyone from the UK, hello. And everyone from all across the world joining us for this big putting lesson. It is three minutes to go. Three minutes to go to the world's biggest putting lesson. And bear in mind, when you're watching this, you are going to be part of a world record attempt. So you can put a little poster up around your house somewhere. If you want to. Don't have to, I don't suppose. Um, how about giving Rick a lesson? Listen, Rick, Rick's sneaky good. Like Rick doesn't get enough credit for how good a golfer he is. Rick's only issue is when it's just under that little bit of pressure. He's just not used to playing in competitions. That's that's the issue there. Solid player, Rick. Especially at the moment. He's hitting that many balls at home. He's going to come out of this a tour pro. Uh, <laughs> advice to a golfer who's an amazing ball striker but gets in his head too much on the golf course which prevents him from his true ability I think you've answered your own question there but I mean most golfers could benefit from uh, certainly becoming better within the old noggin but I think 
with better players, I think expectation is certainly one thing. Letting go of bad shots, that's probably the toughest thing for so many golfers. And certainly something which I saw a big change around last year and an improvement in my scores when I learned to actually just let those bad shots go rather than hanging on and you know, trying to cling on to them as much as possible. Uh, Jesse Golf, hello. Carl's Golf, hello. How are we all? Golf is returning to oh, May the 18th. I wonder if I can get a boat. I wonder if I can get a fishing boat and go over. Um, hope your putting theory is better than the action. Wow. This is, this is Andrew Carter, who admittedly won 50 quid off me yesterday on an Instagram live. But that was the only good putt that I've ever seen him hit. Andy Carter could be on tour three times over if he could putt. <laughs> well, maybe not, but maybe once over. Very underrated golfer, Andrew. Uh, hey, B, it was my birthday on May the 3rd. Happy birthday. Congratulations. I do owe you 50 quid. I do owe you 50 quid. Although I might wait till the exchange rate in dirhams changes, so it won't be quite as much. Because that was the bet, it was in dirhams. If it goes up, then it's in pounds now. <laughs> uh, are you going back to the PT port grip? I'm not sure. So I've just got this pistoli or whatever they call it. Uh, it's grip on the Scotty at the moment, but I'm not sure. I've got the... P2, oh, I've got a little drill club here that I've been using. I've got the P2 grip on my old putter. It's a good grip, actually, the wear tool. Uh, I can't add you, unfortunately, because it's, oh, two o'clock, guys. Everyone watching this, I just want you to give yourselves a nice pat on the back because you are officially taking part in a world record attempt. This is the biggest golf lesson that has ever been conducted online. I think the previous lesson um the previous record for an online lesson i think it was ten thousand people and i think this is going to be smashing that across the globe so congratulations hopefully you can get that little certificate um let's get live on i think she's now joined there we are so if you don't know Liv, she is a creator she's been on instagram for a while she's also a professional golfer here in the uk and today we're going to be hey. doing a footing lesson, and here you are. How are you doing? You okay? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I am okay. I'm getting toasty. We chose a bad time of day to do this. The sun is streaming into this room. I might have to sort the blinds out a little bit. Whereabouts in Kent are you coming in from? Say that again, sorry? Whereabouts in Kent are you coming in from? Um, I'm towards Maidstone Way. Maidstone? Maidstone I've, Way. I've, Kings Hill. I've, I've, I don't know if you know it. I've only been to Maidstone once, and it was an interesting experience. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not that in Maidstone. I'm oh, more right, outside. Okay. Oh, well, you, everyone knows you, it, so you, you seem to be changing your tune very quickly. Here, so you're. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. <laughs> from near Maidstone. From near Maidstone. <laughs> so what are we? What are we going to be looking at today, Lou? So when was the last time you actually had a potting lesson? Um, probably about three years ago. About, I'm, right, okay. I'm too busy coaching at the minute to have putting lessons and wow. things like that. So. Oh, so, wow, sorry. Not in isolation, that is. <laughs> I have all the time yeah. in the world. Not breaking isolation. I'm just far too busy. I'm far too busy. No, no, to all, always. Unbelievable. So we've had a quick chat and you're set up in your kitchen, I believe? Yeah, I'm set up in my oven. Yeah. <laughs> Would, is that part of the, is that part of the lesson or what? <laughs> I don't, I don't really know how to incorporate. If you like. <laughs> so, what's your what's your setup that you've got there? What's on? Uh, the, uh... Right, I have. How do I turn the camera around? So, I've got my well putt mat. Ah, nice. I've got a lovely chair set up there and a chair set up there. <laughs> As my <laughs> tripod. Are those your tripods? That's my tripod. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't yet got one. Okay, so that that's definitely the first. That's the first thing you've got to be looking at. What's the uh, what's the putter that you're using? What have you got? Uh, I've got a Scotty Cameron Five S Futura, centre shafted. All the Had best putter you've used. Three years now. All the best. Well, since your last lesson. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, you won't have to get you a new one after this. See, all the be <laughs> all, all the best plays you, Scotty. That's a fact. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. This is always with me wherever I go, by the way, just to the side. <laughs> so I think what we'll do is we'll we'll actually 
we'll, we'll kind of do this as almost that it's a proper lesson. So mm -hmm. kind of face as though it is face to face. So yeah. you've come into the academy. We already we know you're a professional golfer, so you're a decent putter, you're a decent player anyway. But what is it? <laughs> what is <Okay>. it? <laughs> What is it that we are looking at? What what are the problems with your putting? I'm even going to make notes here. I'm even okay. going to make notes here. <laughs> um, the main thing for me, really, is actually getting it to the hole. Okay. <laughs> um, no, I, I struggle with pace quite a bit. So I'll okay. either miss it too far past or too short, and I just can't really judge my pace. Okay. I um, think... My stroke's okay, I'd say, but obviously I haven't had a lesson in three years, so I wouldn't, I need to be told, I think. Okay. <laughs> now, obviously this is going to be, you know, it, it's going to be difficult to get a full accurate assessment of your stroke and of your game, you know, this is on an Instagram Live, no launch monitors, not a proper green, not yeah. the rest of it, but I'm going to try my best. And also with, with that, I mean, with pace control, there are so many drills that we can actually do to, you know, help you figure this out going forward for sure so uh -huh. first things first let's let's try and see if we can get your stroke <laughs> let's see if we can try and get it on i need to put you in a good position first on my tripod you can't really see it though can you i was going to say that screen has been uh, that screen has been split into again if you do make sure you, um, make sure you go follow olivia as well and where, where do you coach out of what's the club you coach out of uh, I coach at Medlivitz, so it's towards Seven Oaks Way, okay. and if probably everyone knows the London Club, it's literally 30 seconds from there. Okay, yeah. so if you don't want to go to the London Club, go down to Red Come to me. <laughs> okay. Cool, right, let's, let's try and have a look at this stroke. So, I mean, the most important thing is just to get hands and kind of upper body in there, really, just to, so I can see that action. Can you see bit. me okay? Would you want yeah, no, no, that'd be good. You'll have to give us you'll have to give us a verbal uh, a verbal idea of what's happened to the putt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can put do you want me to put you down the line? Yeah, that'd be good as well. Oh, I do want to do one from here first and then Oh, okay. So I go down the line, whichever. We'll go here, we'll go here. <laughs> See, this is why Instagram live lessons aren't a, a regular thing. <laughs> no, no. Right, I'm from six feet here. From six feet, okay. From six feet. That, that went in, right? Yeah, went a, went a little bit left. A little bit left. A little bit left. That went a little bit right. <laughs> <laughs> so the next one's going to be pretty much down the middle then, right? Yeah, this one will be. Or too far past. <laughs> yeah, that was all right. <laughs> that was all right. Let's have, a look, um, let's have a look at down the line, if okay. we can. Have a look at that stroke. Right. Okay. Just a little bit low if we can, just so we can see your putter. Not good. Ah, perfect. That'll be good. Can you see? Yeah, got you there. That mat looks massive. It's huge. <laughs> That's completely messed with it. <laughs> and give, uh, give uh, Liv a bit of a break as well, by the way. You know, she is putting in front of kind of thousands of people here by the end. So no <laughs> pressure. No pressure, by the way. I know. <laughs> okay, cool. Could you, get a, could you get a view of right down behind your putter? Uh, yeah. The right down the line. Now, to, you know, just to make sure everyone's clear on this as well, I have been having a look through at Liv's Instagram while having, having a look at different putts that she's hit as well. So I've got a bit of an idea what's going on. Is that okay? Yeah, touch further back with the phone if you can. Or further forward with the ball. Either one. And if, if anyone does have a spare tripod they can give to Liv, this <laughs> would be great. Anyone. Right. Nice. That will good. Let's have a couple more. Just come closer to the camera just a touch. 
Bob. Wave and just have a couple more for me. Nice. I mean, certainly from certainly from down the line, I think. I mean, the stroke looks pretty solid. On a few of the puts I've seen, there's a bit of a restart and a wave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and just have this one more. Nice. Cool. Right. Jump it up. Let's have a let's have a quick chat. Well, to be fair, I think under that amount of pressure, I think you did all right there. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, I mean, obviously, can I have a look at your put in there? I've had a look through at some of the videos that you've done already as well. Now, one thing I'd say about your stroke, that down the line view that you just had there, that was, that was pretty sick, to be fair. That was nice. Okay. But the only thing I'd say with your stroke arc is mm -hmm. as it goes back, so it goes back pretty good. It goes back slightly on the inside. From this point here, there's sometimes a bit of a movement out, and then it starts to come through a little bit straighter. Right. So you've even got the option, really, with that. Tensor shafted putter is a little bit different in some respects because it hasn't got that natural toe flow that you'll see with some of the other putters, which are a little bit more. Yeah. So even though it's going to have a little bit of an arc, it's not going to have as much as, say, kind of like one of these. But... I think the ones where you start to go a little bit more on the inside, that's when you start to recreate, recorrect, and then try and get that putter moving through that little bit straighter. So I think it's almost, okay. I, I think it's almost you've got to commit to, you've got to commit to one of two things really, either try and get a touch more of the arc mm -hmm. or try and dedicate to actually reducing that arc and going a little bit, you won't go straight back and straight through, but a little bit straight to back, a little bit straight okay. to through. Now, that's going to be easy to do with the center shaft. It's going to be easy to get a little bit more arc if you have more of a toe hang style of putter. Yeah. The only, the only thing I can't really do too much of is actually, you know, get into the, in, in deep of what your, you know, your numbers are, obviously, because we don't, we don't know. Yeah. However, pace control, pace control. There are, <laughs> what have I got down here? I reckon there's... I reckon there's three things, three things you can definitely work on, okay? Now, first of all, I get my props out. Okay. Now this, I hope this is a drill that you've done before. Guys, if you haven't done this drill, this is like just the best thing you could be doing at home right now if you want to be working on your pace control and you're just your putting in general. So if you can get some tack and whack it, either side of the sweet spot like this mm -hmm. so basically what there was a study done a while ago and i think it was through sam putt lab where it basically showed the difference in strike patterns between the best putters and the worst putters and the one thing that was clear no matter what the putter was used no matter what the stroke dynamics were all of that kind of jazz yeah think of a million different techniques the one thing which was clear and it seems obvious but the one thing that was clear is that the better players struck it out the middle more often than not. Now, that sounds obvious enough. And I'm clearly understanding that people will be like, well, blah. But the key is, how many times have you actually worked on striking it out the centre of the putter? So not technique, nothing like that, just hitting the centre of the putter. I don't, really. You don't? No. no. But, <laughs> but the thing is, that, and that's not a that's not a bad thing and everyone kind of watching this will probably relate to the fact that if you want to try and improve your if you want to improve your game you want to improve your swing stroke whatever people go automatically to working on those technique based things so like we just spoke about art and the rest yeah. of it, when in fact you can hit the put in a million different ways with a million different strokes and all the rest of it but this this is the one thing that remains constant throughout no matter throughout whatever technique that you choose to use now if you just work if you just work on striking the center of that putter you could have a stroke that waves all over the place it could be a horrendous looking stroke but if you find in the center of the putter you're going to get a better idea of what your pace control is 
it's as, it's as simple as that. And this goes to the root of a something that you see in the full swing as well. You know, if you think of the, the very best players in the world, they've all got very contrasting techniques, very contrasting techniques. But again, one of the key fundamentals that they have, they just strike the ball really well. And how often do you work on actually just striking the centre of the club face? Not very often at all. So this is the one which I would say, oh my God, 100%, please, please, please use this one. Now, the second one we'll get is, we're obviously flipped around here. You're right-handed, right? Handed, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it was showing his left handed to me, so I was getting, <laughs> yeah, I was getting right. slightly confused. I'm slightly confused. Now, another one you could use. If you are right hand below left, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna flex and move my master's chair out of the way, don't mind me. Lovely. So what's so the one thing I've been trying to do for ages now? <laughs> just about see us in there. Perfect. Now the one thing we can do is if you get yourself set up, basically just take that right hand. Now, generally speaking, if you're a right hand below left, the left hand is a guiding hand, and the right hand is more of the power hand, because it's your dominant hand as well. So that's yeah. gonna, that's gonna what's gonna take control. So rather than just using two hands on, just take that, right, that left hand away, just on that right hand, and basically just try and stroke the ball. Just, I'll oh, stroke it up. <gasps> I'm using a put out. I'm using this ball and that almost went in. I'm using mine, but I'm missing it. <laughs> oh, you know what? I should, I should have set, I should have set this up. Hang on. <laughs> you didn't see that. <laughs> so, <laughs> getting set up with that tack on the face, taking that left hand away, putting it wherever. It's a little bit awkward. I'm just going to put it on my chest. <laughs> on the back, on the just into there, just on that right hand. Just trying to feel that. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, no, it's falling down. <laughs> See, You're lying live, now. <laughs> this is why live videos are slightly more difficult. Um, but, uh, by the way, I've struck those both out the middle. I think I might go to right hand a little left again. So, what that allows you to do is if you just use that bottom hand um, or your power hand within your stroke, you can do this if you're left hand below right as well. You can use your left hand on there as, as well if you are a, a cat-handed putter. It's a bit more difficult if you're using the claw like that. Yeah. But what that allows you to do is get a sense of what that pace will be just with the one hand. And if you keep that grip pressure light, like this is an amazing drill for actually being able to drip your pace a little bit more. So this was Luke Donald's go-to drill when he was world number one. This is basically all he did. All he did. Now, third one, very simple again, grip pressure. You fancy having another putt or two? Yeah. Go on, get, try and try and set the um, camera up at the far end of the map. We want to see a, we want to see a long put here. Just so how much is a, how much is the membership at Red Lips? All right, there we go. Can you see me? I tell you what, stick it, stick the camera right at the end of the map, so you've got the longest put you can. Oh, down here or up? Yeah, yeah, right down behind it. Stick stick it on the map. Stick it right there. You go. Right. <laughs> now this is a this is a field test and there's no there's no right answer by the way um and by the way you're getting a lot of good comments on your kitchen by the way oh, very generous <laughs> um so if you get yourself settled to this yeah now, basically, on a scale of 1 to 10, so 1 being the lightest, 10 being the tightest, yeah. grip that putter as tight as you can. Okay. So, literally, you're at Alton Towers, you're absolutely crapping yourself on a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah. You know, wide knuckle stuff. Now, try and have a putt like that, so the tightest you can do. Sure? I made it. <laughs> now, bring, in, bring another ball over. Now this time, basically start the same thing. So start at 10, gripping it as hard as you can. Uh -huh. But then knock that grip pressure down to about three. So you want to be almost feeling like you're, you're hardly holding it. It's just resting in your hands. What, before I hit it, yeah? Before you hit it, yeah. Ah, oh, did that lip out? Did what? 
Did that lip out? Yeah. Devastated. Now, just have a few more again, gripping it about, um, gripping it about that three, but start off the drill, gripping it as tight as you can, and then going down to that three, just so you get a sense of what the difference is. That looked a better stroke. Ah. Oh. So you've hit, it, you've hit it too hard at two times. It looks like a decent pace. I can feel this is the one. This is the one. So start at 10, then down to three. Oh, man. If you've not used one of these putouts, by the way, it's like the most frustrating thing but, in the yeah, world. It is. <laughs> it's basically got this tiny, tiny resting point there. And you, the pace has got to be perfect to get it resting in. Go on. I'll have one more. One more, and then we'll have a... A quick summary. Oh, nearly. Oh. <laughs> Devo. I tell you what, though, that is three, that is three decent puts in a row, though, I have to say. <laughs> now, this is about, first of all, it's a little bit different with, um, obviously, to, I was going to say it's a little bit different when you're under pressure, but you're actually under a fair bit of pressure there, so I'll give you that. <laughs> Um, but the thing is with grip pressure, if yeah. you grip the if you grip the club lightly, you're going to have a better response within your hands. You know, a very simple test that you want to use. Anyone kind of watching this, if you're in a, a safe environment, if you pick if you pick something up, a small object, and yeah. basically grip it as tightly as you can, and then try and throw it across the room at a target, it's almost impossible to hit your target because the tension that you create within your hands it doesn't give you any feel, it doesn't give you any mm -hmm. feel. If you naturally just grip it lightly and you try and throw a ball naturally, you'll actually see that the grip pressure that you have is incredibly light, it's incredibly flexible because it needs to be to be able to judge that type of pace. Yeah. So if you're on the course and if you're doing an Instagram live in front of hundreds of people, if you try and feel like that grip pressure is between that kind of three and four, something like that, yeah that's going to give you so much more of a better feel. It's, it's difficult when it gets to that kind of, you know, 10 foot, you need to make it to, you know, win your match or you've got that twitchy three footer or you're across the wing 50 feet away. It's yeah. hard to commit to it. Mm -hmm. But if you do kind of practice that, you do keep it relaxed. The actual feel that you're going to get over the putter is just going to be so, so much better. So much better. Yeah. Cool. I mean, hi, Ryan, by the way. He's been asking for a wave for like 60 hours. <laughs> Don't you go to sleep. <laughs> I need to sleep. <laughs> so is that kind of, does that make sense? As well as you're yeah, no, it makes sense. Thank you for that. I mean, you, you must know drills for pace control. You're, you're a well-renowned professional golfer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. don't, don't say it like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm all right. <laughs> Listen, this this is Instagram. You can be whoever you want to be. <laughs> well, well, guys, so, on here, if you need a lesson, you know where to come. <laughs> there you go. So, I mean, if you if you're down south, you can go to you can go to Sealy, and then you, if you're up north, come see me. There, there you go. go. Sorted. But no, seriously, come see me first. <laughs> I'm not skin. But yeah, if you, if you don't want to travel. I suppose. I suppose. <laughs> and guys, if you've got any, um, I think are you okay to stay on for another eight minutes or so? Yeah, I'm good. I'm fine. I've got nothing else Perfect. to do. That's very true. Guys, get into those comments as well. Any questions around coaching for me and Liv? Keep it for putting if you want, but if you want to throw something else in. Okay, you've got, you got all these lesson inquiries already. I know. <laughs> I'm scrolling through them. <laughs> Ryan, hello. Hello, Ryan. Go to bed. I'm out of school in the morning. Uh, which course do you teach at, Pete? I've got, it's Quest Golf Academy. It's up in, uh, up in Burnley. It's up in Burnley. Um, Where am I based? Yeah. I'm based at Red Libbits in Seven Oaks in Kent. <laughs> how, how much for a lesson? I mean, you, you always give your first three lessons free, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> nah. <No? laughs> I've been in isolation uh, for two months. I need the cash. <laughs> this is very true. Uh, I just saw grip pressure on uh, grip pressure on drives and irons. Again, keep it light and then start line. So studies show that pace is a lot more important than actual line of the ball. If you get the pace right, you can drop in on lots of different lines. If you get the pace wrong, you can only drop in on one or two. So yeah, definitely pace. 
when you next coming to Dubai, I would like to meet you or Rick. Um, I, I'm guessing understand. you're talking about you and you and Rick, not me and Rick. Yeah, no, I don't know um, when the borders open. I guess <laughs> need to wait yeah, for that. Yeah. We've got a mate over there at the moment. He's just he's basically back on the golf course yesterday. Oh, okay. And it was devastating when he was yeah. updating when he was updating the WhatsApp group. It was like perfectly still. It was beautiful. It was... Have you been? Yeah, I've been a few times. I've not been for um, not been for a couple of years, but as far as kind of courses go and condition, especially from you're looking at November through till March, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Pretty much, it's pretty much guaranteed to be perfect weather. So, I know. Not you get quite to and you just can't even walk in the heat. <laughs> exactly. What golf exercises do you do? You're much better place to answer this one. So at the moment, I'm doing not very much. Um, to be honest, at the minute, I'm primarily doing a lot of weighted exercises whilst I'm at home I've actually just got some weights delivered to my house recently so nice. I do a lot of that in the gym um, a lot of resistance training um, so I've got quite a few resistance bands do a, thick, do a bit like that I was hovering over buying a peloton a few days ago oh really I've seen them they yeah. look good they do they do look good the, the chances are that as soon as we are oh, as soon as we're out of uh, <laughs> lockdown, the chances of me continuing yeah. on a sweaty bike in my kitchen is going to be very, lovely. Very, very, very <laughs> lovely. Um, which buses do you prefer? Um, it's all about, it's all about Scotty Cameron. How long there. have you had that? Um, I've had it for seven days now, um, and it's been, it's been very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, when. When we leave lockdown, I am going to be the best putter on a flat green from five feet. Anyway, I should be as well. <laughs> I think everyone's going to be in the same boat, though. Like, yeah, as soon yeah. as everyone gets got within no that distance. Exactly. I, I think you've got an no excuse if you're hitting it, Pat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Uh, what's your ideal four ball? Um, so it'd be me, Liv, obviously. Um, Thanks. You know, there you go. Um, and I don't know, two others. You get to pick the others, Liv. Put you on the spot. Um, definitely Gary Player. Definitely Gary Player. Definitely and 100% Tiger Woods. <laughs> why, why Gary Player? Why, why definitely Gary Player? Just a legend, isn't he? <laughs> hey, listen. We've all... <laughs> yeah. but Tiger Woods is first on the list. Perfect. You can bump Gary Player down. Loving the podcast. Yes, podcast is going okay. Thank you very much. If you're not jetted out, we've got golf podcast. Thought I'd have a uh, free ad in there. Um, <laughs> have you got any drills for distance control with wedges? So ladder, um, ladder drills are great. So if you're on a if you're on a driving range, let's say you've got a 54 degree wedge, start at say 30 yards and basically try and pitch to 30 yards, 40 yards, 50 yards, so on and so forth until you reach your maximum distance and then come back down that ladder and then judge your success. If you've got a, if you've got a launch monitor, it's obviously a hell of a lot easier to do this, but you can do this on just a, a normal patch of grass as well. Ladder, ladder testing is great because it also gives a variability to it. You're not just hitting the same shot over and over again. Any, I do that you got as well. I do it with putting as well. I place tall sticks down and... Do that, so that's good. Oh, with your with your new light grip and there we go. So new I'm attitude on putting, you're gonna you're gonna be unstoppable. You're gonna be unstoppable. <laughs> um, my lessons are free, right, Pete? Uh, Jacob is uh, cameraman and editor. And no. Do you hover your putter, Pete? Uh, yeah, I do. So I hover all my clubs before takeaway. So I'll uh, Ricky Fowler, I suppose, with my putting, I hover it. It's not, this is something which I can't touch on anyway, but hovering the club before I'm hitting is nothing, if you don't, I'm not you know, onto something that you guys aren't. It just feels a little bit more natural to me. If you, stay, if you keep it on the ground, it's absolutely fine. It just feels like I have a little bit more freedom in the stroke, but, but that's it. That's it. Two more minutes, guys. Two more minutes. I do four ball. My mates are trying to wind me up on air as well. <laughs> God, I'm not going to answer them. <laughs> Get live on the podcast. What else? What happened to the spider? Did you have a spider putter then? 
Uh, yeah, it's it's still here somewhere. I mean, listen, I I go through I go through putters at quite an actually exceptional rate. So, oh, I mean, okay. I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to stick to this one until uh -huh. the end of the season, whenever, whenever this season actually starts. Yeah. But I'm trying to. But I've got like a bag of that's that there. There's, there's five putters in there, and that's probably <laughs> that's probably half of the putters that I used last year. Oh God! <laughs> and there I am having one. Do you mean those on? <laughs> yeah, I'm actually a I'm putting equipment expert. And I know what, you know, is needed in a good stroke. Doing it is a uh, slightly different, <laughs> it's a different thing. <laughs> slightly different matter. No, I'm hey, going to change mine very soon. My is whole your... bag. <laughs> is that your sister, by the way? Gracie. What, what she put, yeah. Sister girl. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um, she's in the lounge watching me. <laughs> Oh, is she? Right, okay. <laughs> uh, fancy around live, top course to play in the UK. Um, have you ever played in South Africa? I've never played in South Africa. No, I've never, never been. I've kind of got to Asia for the first time last year, but I've still never, still never been to Africa. That's next on the list. And then South America, not in South America really. Yet. <laughs> or Australia. Pete you, got, Pete, you got any more putters to give away today, pal? <laughs> from the amateur golfer. Uh, not not today, <laughs> not today. I gave I gave quite away a few yesterday. Zach or Zach from crew if you're watching, mate. I hope those putters they're all boxed up and they will be with you hopefully shortly. And I'll try and figure out how to ship those trainers as well. I went I went a little bit mad on a on a giveaway. Oh, yeah. I, I drank a little bit too much coffee, got way way too excited. <laughs> Brilliant. Way too excited. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll get one more question each, and then I've got to go. I don't know, do something. I'm sure. Should I use a driving iron or a hybrid? I personally um, prefer hybrids. Yeah, I think I think for most people, hybrids are hybrids are better. I think driving irons you get you get a few different advantages off them as far as distance off a tee. You can control the flight a little bit more, but yep. for most. For most golfers, hybrids are a, a bit of a godsend. I would I would recommend not only replacing, say, a drive nine with a hybrid, but replacing four iron, five iron, six iron even. You know, yeah. they are just so so much easier to hit than the normal iron. So yeah, I would definitely do that. Yeah, that's the same. What else? Liv, how much for a lesson? Um, I charge fifty five quid for an hour. <laughs> oh, but no free ads. What the hell? No, fifty-five quid, guys. Fifty-five quid. Tell you what, I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, does it? Because I'm in, in exactly, exactly the same business. <laughs> um, right, last one. Blade or not for seven handicap? Um, that all depends on what version of a seven handicap you are so <laughs> i i coach i coach some kind of single figure handicappers who are not very good ball strikers at all but their putting in their short game is brilliant so mm -hmm. for them absolutely not but i also coach some players who strike the ball amazingly well off high teen handicaps who can get away with using blades but yeah. around the green they're shocking so there's no there's no one size fits all approach. That's why fitting becomes so important. You know, if you're wanting to get a new set of irons, try and get yourself fit so you understand what the benefits would be of a blade, what they'd be of a of a hybrid or a, a big more cavity iron. You know, there's yeah. there's so many out there as well at the moment that you're not gonna you're not gonna struggle for choice. Definitely not. Cool. All right. Right, I think I think that's gonna be it. I think the world's biggest golf lesson has now been completed hopefully we uh yeah. hopefully we might to contribute a little bit towards those big numbers yeah but, hopefully but also get yourself over to the uh the website it's just worldsbiggestgolflesson.com where you can donate as well so if you did enjoy this if hopefully you found some of the information uh useful get over there and donate definitely well thank you very much no thank you for coming on <laughs> you're welcome and we'll definitely we'll definitely get a match sorted once we're out, once we're out of this as well. Definitely, yeah, that'll be good. Cool. All right. Awesome. See you soon.
Bye. 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 Cool. Awesome. Oh, how nice of it was. The sun is coming out again. <laughs> right, guys, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you uh, for watching and taking part in this world's biggest golf lesson. I think, you know, little things like this, certainly while we're, you know, going through quarantine, but beyond that as well, you know, they make such a, such a big difference as far as learning is concerned for you guys, but also for... You know, the fact is that, you know, making a bit of a difference, hopefully, to get money to where it's needed to in these pretty crap times. So anything that we can do, anything that we can give, anything that you guys can do, be very, very much appreciated. Um, so we'll see you all soon. I've got loads of videos dropping this week as well, so stay tuned for them. I've got a massive, massive giveaway starting this weekend as well. So follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook as well, because you are not I'm getting emotional. You're not going to want to miss it. <laughs> cool. Right, guys. Oh, no. I'm bleeding. I'll um, see you soon. Bye. Enjoy your afternoon. Get in the garden. It's beautiful weather.